Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator. I'm an old guy gaming. And uh, I thought I'd bring you back now at the end of our potato harvest. It's actually taken <laughs> this long for it to go. And so we're going to head on over to Johnson's to sell this final or drop off this final amount. Let's see, how are we... Where are we at with this? We are 99% complete. Wow, super close. And then an, another cultivating, or actually a cultivating contract came up on 77, the one that we did the sorghum on in the last episode. It is still August 1st too, by the way. Um, but I wanted to, you know, since this was our first time doing potatoes, I wanted to show you the, the beginning of it in the last episode and then the end of it in this episode. And then after that, we'll probably uh, sleep until uh, August 3rd, unless we, it's possible that we might get a couple more contracts tomorrow. So we'll check that first, uh, you know, before we, before we move on. Oh, the other thing I was going to tell you guys too, is I found a couple of more, uh, yeah, I found a couple more collectibles. Uh, so there they will be on our way so we'll stop and grab those and we just need to dump just a tiny bit of these potatoes off to finish the contract but actually we're probably just gonna dump them all off because what am I gonna do with potato <laughs> half a trailer load of potatoes um, let's look at something though uh, if we go here and we select potatoes, uh, Johnson's is doing 136. Gold Crest is 161. Feeding Grain South is 139. You know, those prices aren't that much different from each other, and we don't have that many potatoes to where I think we're just going to sell it all at Johnson's and be done with it. So yeah, let's uh, head up the road. The collectibles are just right up here. Uh, I did also remember to fertilize my fields too, so that so we got that done. So now we have two stages of fertilization on the hay. That's the only time we'll have to do an actual, <coughs> excuse me, fertilization. Um, moving forward, we will just uh, you know roll after each hay harvest, which gives us two stages of fertilization. But anyway, uh, this field here was one of the ones that I had a fertilizer contract and I was looking over up against this house and I saw some colorful stuff and I said, hey, that looks like collectibles. And there's actually two of them. There's a pig and a water tank. Water trailer, six more water trailers. And four more pigs, nice. And two more thousand dollars, two more thousand dollars. <laughs> two thousand dollars more for us. Okay, cool. All right, I will uh, meet you guys up at Johnson's Farmer's Market and we'll wrap up this potato harvest. Okay, here we go. Contract is finished. And we made an additional $1,254. Okay, so let's uh, turn that in. It looks like our, our guy uh, finished that cultivating contract too. And I, I don't know, if, I still don't know if I'm gonna do the plowing or not. Uh, oh, another cultivating just came available. In fact, yeah, 73 is, that's the one we just did with the potatoes, nice, okay. And our dude's already over in that area, so. Cool. Uh, oh, I got, <laughs> I guess we're, out of vehicles, but since I'm still employing workers here, um, here, what are you doing? You're done, man. Okay. We'll just run right on over 73 and get that knocked out too and make a couple thousand more bucks. So we're up to $59,000 right now. Um, I'll just, actually, I'll just do this myself because I'm done. I don't have anything else to do, so why pay a worker to do it, right? Shouldn't take me too long. Now, that was fun doing the potatoes. The machine uh, is similar to the sugar beets, but not exactly the same. Pretty neat how, what these machines can do, though. 
So yeah, I'll get this knocked out and then um, I'll meet you guys back at the farm and we're probably going to sleep if nothing else comes up on the contracts. All right, guys, we are back at the ranch. Let's get the uh, cultivator cleaned up here. Look at that dirt. I really like this new Holland, man. It has just been a great tractor so far. The uh, McCormick's been really good for us, too. I mean, we've had that from day one. Yes, indeed. Okay. You could probably stand to use a bit of squirt, too. I was doing all the fertilizing with this one. That's looking pretty good. All right, so there's still those two plowings. And I think that's really going to be all there is. Oh, 55 and 22. Should I do that? I mean, it's going to, what is it going to give us? It's going to give us another 4,000 bucks ish. 55 is this red one, which is not that big. And 22 is here. Also not that big. That's the one we do the sugar beets on. Yeah, what the heck? Let's just take them. Uh, whoops. Let me do that. Let's just take them. It's another $4,000. I don't have anything else to do today. Um, oh, but we do want to... Yeah, we do want to borrow one of these guys' stuff. Because I don't have a plow. Yeah, it's not an enormous plow, but it'll get it'll get the job done. Okay, well, since I just <coughs> excuse me committed myself to doing two plowing jobs, I guess I better get started on that. So I will uh, bring you guys back uh, when the plowing is finished and we are ready to sleep. Uh, we'll 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 see what's going on on August second, but I'm not expecting much much, right? And then we'll probably sleep till the third, and then we'll be ready to sell produce and eggs and stuff like that. So look at our corn; it's awesome. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna look at this up close for a sec. Very neat, very detailed. Uh, but I think we have to wait till October to harvest this stuff, right? Corn, yeah, we have to wait till October. Cool, and then we'll convert that little patch of corn into a, a hay field too when the time comes. Okay, let's get to plowing here. All right, guys, it is August 3rd. Uh, there was nothing uh, that happened on the 2nd uh, worth noting. There is, however, something in the sales that I really am debating on whether or not to get, and it's this Stroutman uh, Aperion 3401 trailer. This trailer is normally around $90,000, brand new. It has a capacity of 52,000 liters and it can haul pretty much anything in the game based upon what I'm seeing down here from crops to beet crops to manure to fertilizer to stones. I mean, it, <laughs> it hauls everything and I just feel like I should get it, but oh man. Uh, you know, it, it it's it feels like it's the right thing to do. I I don't think I will regret getting this trailer. The only the only reason why I'm well, the main reason why I'm hesitant to do it is because 
there's always that possibility that that Pottinger mower that Windrose is could come on sale, and I'm really, you know, I really want that. But I mean, we can always lease it. I'm going to start using it from now on, just because our fields are too big and it takes too long for me to, you know, to use the small mower. Um, I I think we should get this. I really do. I, I think we should get this. So we're going to do it. There we go. It's a done deal. We are now the proud owner of a $90,000, well, brand new, anyway, trailer that can haul anything in the game. And it's 52,000 liters, you guys. Oh, this is nice. Very cool. And it's got a PTO shaft, which means it's probably got, yeah, it looks like it's got a conveyor system. So it can conveyor stuff out the back without even having to tip it. What a nice trailer. Okay, yeah, I, I think that was the right move. I really do. Um, at least I want to keep telling myself that. <laughs> oh, okay. We, and we needed a trailer. I mean, I think I was just talking about that earlier, too. Um, okay, well, we got ourselves a trailer. Fantastic. Let's move it out of the way. Uh, where's my pickup truck? Oh, I left my pickup truck down at the store, didn't I? Damn, burn it. Um... Yeah, we need it because the next thing we have to do is we have to load up our pallets, our lettuce and our eggs and go sell that. So, all right, I'll go get the pickup truck. I'll meet you guys back here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to just store this in the barn. Um, we just have to make sure that it's I pull it far enough forward to where I can still get the forklift out. Can't hook up the lines. Can I get it in there this way? Maybe. Yeah, I think we can. Well, oh, is it gonna fit? <laughs> That's like not a whole lot of clearance there, man. But I think we're good. Okay, let's make sure that I still have enough room to get the forklift out. Oh yeah, we got lots of room. I was I couldn't tell. We can even back it up a little bit just so it's nice and all the way in there. Okay. Yep, I I don't regret purchasing that. Even if the mower well, no. <laughs> If the mower comes on sale tomorrow, I'll regret it. No, let me put it to you this way. If the mower comes on sale tomorrow, the one that I want, we're going to buy it. One way or to other. Whether that means selling some stuff or taking out a loan. Because uh, it's just too essential. But, you know, the, the hay that we grow and sell is our biggest money maker, is what I'm trying to say. And so it makes sense that we invest you know, in into the best equipment we can get, you know, to make that work. That's what I'm saying. So, uh, all right. So yeah, let's uh, let's hook up to the flatbed here and get our pallets loaded. It looks too like we do. We have a full pallet of honey. I think. Well, do we? Yeah, I think we do. Yeah. Okay. So we'll. We'll grab that honey with the forklift and throw that in the cellar. We're not going to sell that until, I don't know, I'll we'll have to look again. I don't remember. It's January, February, one of those date, one of those months are the best ones to sell the honey in. Oh. Uh, kicked me out into the barn there. We'll just pretend like we have an extension to hook the lights up on our trailer. Let's park right about here. Jump in a forklift and get these pallets loaded. We should make uh let's take a look at our eggs. We have a full pallet and and five more crates. Um, but you know, I, I've mentioned this probably in every episode now because I'm just kind of excited for it to happen. But in uh, next month, 
all of our chickens will be mature and all of them will be producing eggs. So eggs, eggs are going to really help us out a lot. Uh, but still, in terms of our produce um, or our production chains, the lettuce is still a, what's really making us the the most money. Spend my rambling years. I paid my sins from the poor traveling days. Oh Lord, please, can you hear my prayers? So I rode my body up the mountain, up the mountain to a place where I can sit my rocking chair. I rode my body up the mountain, up the mountain, and I'm never going back again. I swear. Most likely the sun. Of mine will be found in the mountains where I'm born and raised. I paid my duty, it's sunny side cutie. Oh Lord, hear the sorrow in my heart. So I rode my body up the mountain, up the mountain, to a place where I can sit in my rocking chair. I rode my body up the mountain. In my rocking chair, I rode my buddy up the mountain, up the mountain, and I'm never going back again. I swear. Let's check the prices here and see if we can sell the egg or load the eggs, I should say, at the same time. So lettuce is going to go to 928. Johnson's has got the best price on lettuce. Um, what about eggs? Usually the bakery sells the most for eggs. 1013. Mama Joe is selling the best for eggs. <clears throat> okay, so. Let's run the eggs over to Mama Joe just on the forklift. Um, and then we'll take the lettuce up to Johnson's. We'll widen our forks out a little bit here. I don't imagine in real life you'd probably want to stack these, at least not the way they're palletized now, but our chickens lay some tough eggs, man. So this should be fine. Okay. Let's go over to Mama Joe's. Twenty-four fifty-nine. All righty. Oh, look at that. We got another half pallet. Awesome. All right. We'll let it wait for it to fill, though. We'll put this one in the cellar.
We have that partial pallet of honey because um, I had to pick it up when we moved the beehive. But there's no way to consolidate them together as far as I know. There might be a mod that does something like that, but I haven't come across it if there is. Alrighty, awesome. Oh, here I go, hitting the side of the, or the corner of the doorway again. Got to swing a little wider. Okay, let's head on up to Johnson's and get our lettuce sold here. We got to get stuff strapped down. Yeah, gone it. Even my windshield wiper blades have the paint coming off of them. <laughs> oh boy. Whatevs, man. I'll just keep magically fixing it with the admin tools. I mean, seriously, I know I complain about this a lot, but wouldn't you if you had such a nice truck like this and like the next day the paint started going bad? I mean, come on, man. It's not like I can take it back to the dealer and get another one that isn't going to do the same thing, so. It's kind of funny, though, too. <laughs> Gotta love these video games and their interpretation of reality. Uh, are you just gonna... Dummy. These people around here, man, I don't know what to think about them. Of course, they probably don't know what to think about me either sometimes. Eight thousand three fifty one. Wow, this is this is probably like a bad time to be selling lettuce. Um, let's see. We are. What are we in? October or September or no? We're in August. Yeah. So next month's going to be even worse. But then after that, it starts kicking up again. Uh, while we're looking at this. Honey, yeah, honey's going to be February, so that's when we're going to sell our honey. When is the best time for eggs? Eggs is uh, October and November. Those are the two best. Okay, good. So uh, we'll be at full, you know, production on our eggs in those months too. So we should make some nice money on our eggs at that point. Uh, and for those of you who maybe are watching for the first time or, or didn't catch this before, I know I could s save you know the lettuce and all and the eggs and all of that and wait for the price to be better but i'm trying to kind of role play this realistically realistically you can't store lettuce for months and months and months it's going to go bad um especially if you don't have cold storage which i do not so that's why i just sell it every month um because again it's just more realistic but you know it always brings us in eight Anywhere from eight to you know eleven, twelve thousand dollars a month, depending upon the you know the prices and stuff. So it's a nice little steady supply of income for, um, you know, not too much work really. I mean, the greenhouses themselves cost me ten grand, and they paid for themselves. I've had them for two years now. They paid for themselves within the first three months. Four, well, probably the first four months, in terms of just buying them. And the water doesn't cost us anything except for the cost of the tanker that we bought. And that's paid for itself by now with the money that we make off of this. And then we have a fertilizer bill, which I still am not 100% sure, but it looks like we can. We don't even have to re-fertilize those greenhouses until, you know, about eight, eight to nine months apart, which isn't bad at all. And see, so we got, let's see, one, two, three, four. We have to buy about five pallets of fertilizer for them, and that's around 10 grand. Twelve, well, maybe that's 12 grand. So, again, yeah, these greenhouses are doing really well for us. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, you know what? We got to throw the rest of our bales, at least the ones that will fit. 
into the storage. So let's actually do that next, and then I don't think there's anything else for us to do here on August the 3rd. You know, we're not going to be able to put that many more bales in there. Do I want to mess with the bale loader trailer for that? Looks like we're going to be able to do, well, depending upon how far out it comes, four, ten more bales. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I don't want to futz with ten bales with the front loader clamp thingy. If it was a few less than that, I would do it, but... It's just really buggy is the thing. So we'll pull from the this pile back here. It you know what though it may not I don't know if it's going to go past that front line. So why don't we start with just four? Well, let's do five, and if the fifth one doesn't stack, then we'll know. tree is always a nuisance. I should probably just cut it. Should have done that while I had the forestry mulcher and stuff here. Didn't think about it. Alright. made the sound of falling but it didn't actually fall this is a small enough tree for me to legit pick up by the way all right now what are we gonna do with it <laughs> uh, let's just kind of toss it down here for for now and um, here we could at least clean some of the branches off of it so it's not an eyesore as much It's honestly not worth taking down to the store. We would we would maybe make five bucks off of this tree. Maybe ten. What did I do? Cut it right down the middle of the trunk there? I don't know. I don't even know if that cut registered. Should just be getting rid of these smaller branches. There we go. I guess it considers the rest of that sellable wood. I don't think this would be. It's just not quite picking it up. All right, here. Let's just cut that. There we go. And it's supposed to do this automatically, but it's not. Not doing it. Okay. So, I mean, I guess we could throw a bat on the back of the pickup and go make five bucks. Might be enough to for us to buy a cheeseburger. You guys picked up on the fact yet that I actually like cheeseburgers? Oh, we have too many bales on here now. All right, well, let's just drop these off, and we'll see what it does. That should be good enough. Okay, good. So it does... 
it does stack um, another one out. Oh, wait, no. Okay. So, in order for me to... What a daggone bug. In order for me to um, tell, we're going to need f at least four more bales. Okay. I must have miscounted that. No surprise there. Oh, wrong button. No, don't mess up the end of the pile. Oh, man. There we go. Yikes. Okay, again, we're just going to do four because I want to see if it's going to go out one more row or not. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So five more bales. And then we have fully loaded this up. It's a beautiful thing. What? Oh, I wonder... I wonder if the bale representation is not does not correlate exactly to the number of bales. Cuz that that should have worked. Right? Uh, I don't know. I'm confused now. Okay. Well, I you know what? Actually, we can just leave those there. There's no reason not to. Well, they are kind of sticking out a bit, though, aren't they? I'm just going to leave them there for now. If they, if they become an issue, then I'll move them later. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can make five bucks here. 23 bucks? Wow! <laughs> That's more than I thought. Like over four times more than I thought. All right, well, that'll definitely buy us a cheeseburger for lunch. Maybe a milkshake and some fries, too. Okay, guys, I think that wraps up august the third and this episode so i will bring you guys back on september the first i don't remember if that's the the third hay cutting for the contracts it will it will be our hay cutting our fields will be ready to cut by then um so we will be doing our fields no matter what and maybe we'll have our haying contracts too which always bring in some nice money for us and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. We have to wait till October t for the corn, so that's going to wait 
have to wait, you know, until, uh, you know, through September. And um, I think we're good to go. I, I think we we did good on that trailer. I, f I feel good about it. It wasn't kind of what I was hoping for, but it's something we needed. So we got what we needed, not necessarily what we wanted, but I will not regret having that trailer. For sure, especially because of how versatile it is, and 52,000 liters is a pretty decent uh, volume, you know, too. So good stuff. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share the video, and we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.